Good evening and we're live. Good evening, welcome. It's seven o'clock, it's Thursday, it's Spray Make Sense Live. And whilst we're just waiting for you guys to join us, Lindsay's going to give you guys that are new to Spray Make Sense Live a bit of a heads up. Uh, before you go too far, at the top, on the right, that is, there's a link, which is an eCam link. If you guys could click that, have you done your bit from your side? I am. Um, I will see. do in a second. Ish. Okay. So we'll just wait for a few people to join and then we'll um, make a start. So the idea is with that, if you can actually click it for us, it's great because what will happen is you'll be able to, we will then be able to see who we're actually interacting with and it becomes a little bit more personal. Yeah. Like I say, evening Tom, hi Sharon. Can evening. you do some of the, when they put the comments Jack. up, can you put some of those up for me this time? Do you know when you, on, on the comments on the right hand side, if you click it, yeah. then you get those coming up. We need to start playing with some of those, okay. those shootout ones. Yeah, yeah. They're always really good. Cool. So yeah, I did up a little um, kind of image there. You can see, evening Paul, um, I try and mark the announcement up um, at the top of Spray and Make Sense. And you can click, there's a Get Reminder, which is just underneath the Spray and Make Sense live image. Um, so Facebook will let you know when we're live. But also there's a, um, an ecam.live link there as well. And that just means that I can see... Um, you guys obviously names and everything when you comment in so so i've got a, a hi there um i know lots of <laughs> lots of boxes jack lots of things i'm afraid sorry um, but yeah it's, it's just easier obviously i can say hi to everybody i know exactly who um sort of everyone is that's the downside of using like a third party it's not a downside you're able to do all sorts i mean have you got the video ready probably not oh, cheek have you I have. Oh, you didn't last week. <laughs> <laughs> okay. See? Good evening. <laughs> Welcome. It's Spray Make Sense Live. So this evening, let's jump straight in and let's start with the community. We try to ch have a chat with you guys to see how you are fixed this week, what's good, what's working, and just a little bit of let's have a, a catch up to see where we're at. Okay. I know, so Colin, where's the week gone? You're absolutely right. Evening, Bob. Hi, Paul. Um, looking forward to doing the course next week. Awesome. Evening, Liam. Right. Uh, I had this, uh, this, this came on at the beginning. This was actually left on from last week. Mm -hmm. So we've not done any filming on here, have we? I can't remember. Right, this is now the Tritech Treasure Hunt. Okay. No, you, you, oh yeah, okay. Let's it's go. up, it's running. We've started putting out some posts about it. The idea is we'll run through it a little bit more in detail. Okay, so at the end, we'll give you the first clue of the Treasure Hunt. Over the next few weeks, we're going to give you clues to get you closer and closer and closer to this bad boy, okay? The Tritech T5 and also a spraying course for those that need it, so. Evening Paul, hi Michael. I'm gonna just uh, pull this off. So yeah, like I do every week, I'll put the links um, in, but obviously it is a treasure hunt, evening Trevor, um, and you are gonna have to kind of work for it a little bit I'm not being well. funny, it's like two and a half grand with everything in. Uh, of course you're gonna work for it. We want it to be fun. Uh, we want you to obviously do some work. We want you to understand why we're pushing you around the social media channels. We want you to understand the benefits of using social media, okay, for your own business. So if we get you to do it for hours and try takes and Arista sprays, you'll start to understand why. But you've got it. You've got to work. It's a treasure hunt. Let's have a bit of fun. We're yeah. going to pretty much run a decent prize. I mean, a proper decent prize every six to eight weeks. We've got six weeks to go, and to the 1st of April, we're going to put everyone's names into a draw, um, and we'll let you know live who's won. Yeah. Hi, so Tracy. Evening, Ross. We'll try and give some little prizes each week as well, just, just little stuff ideas, etc. Uh, Pete's books last week. So, yeah. Yeah. Awesome. We'll do what so we what we're going to run through tonight, we've got community catch-up. Okay, let's do community catch-up. Is it? Have we got any feedback from you guys? How you been? Is there anything that you want to report? Also, it's always really good with Spray and Make Sense to kind of um, not have an open forum, but we do like to have a chat with you guys. So if there's anything that uh, you want to ask questions about, you know, how your spraying's going, maybe some products, just a little bit of feedback. 
it's not just about that I get to have input, but you've also got some really, really good qualified guys on here tonight as well. So it's good to be able, be able to pick their brains as well. Evening, Simon. So we've got who's in the spotlight? Um, no, we've, we've got the community first. What's for now? Yeah, no, I'm, I'm running through the list. Oh, I'm sorry. I, we, we, didn't use, we don't usually do it that way. No, we did it the first week, but we forgot to do it last week. Okay. <laughs> so we've got the community catch up. Who's in the spotlight? Uh, tonight in the spotlight, it's not a product, it's not a paint, it's not a machine, it's a person. Ooh. Okay, it's not that exciting. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, the how, and then we've got top tip time. Top tip time. And then the clue for the treasure hunt. Yeah, we'll give you the first clue. So you've got to go find it. it we, the first one's going to be easy. Come on, we're going to make it easy for you. But then it gets a little bit harder and a little bit harder. Uh, if you want it, you, you will do the work for it. Simple you will. as that. Yeah, there's a few, quite a few people have already signed up to uh, get more info. Yeah, it's, it's an easy process uh, to actually get, get the information to sign up and then obviously just, just follow on through and have a bit of fun doing it. Cool, right, so are we making a start? Yeah, go for um, it. Do you want to go through it? Have we got any questions before we get going? Is there anybody wanting any help? No, I think we're all good so right. far. Evening, Andrew. Hi, Martin. Hi, Junior Byron. Um, cool. Hi, Mike. Awesome. Right. Uh, community, what we're doing this evening, we, we, we're starting, we've been working through the industry report, okay? Uh, it's been very well received. Anybody that's new and hasn't yet downloaded it, have a look. It's, we find it's a really good place for, for new people to start. It's got a lot of good information. But some of you guys have been around a long time. It's, we've had some really good feedback. And it's got some stuff in there that just keeps it current for this year. So what we want to talk about tonight is something that we've had now for oh, about four years. Probably it's got to be it. at least four years, but we had to do it manually, whereas now it's, it's a little bit more automated. So hopefully people will get their results rather than not. Yeah, the idea is we've tried to simplify, if, if, if it's possible, uh, the what sprayer survey. When we start spraying makes sense, a lot of people, and, and it still happens on, on a lot of groups and everything else, what spray is right for me? Um, it is confusing. It's, it is, and the, the deeper you, you delve, the harder it gets. Um, so what we've done is we've taken all of the sprayers, generally airless, okay, uh, HVLP and that will we'll add in further, and triple air systems, but the majority is airless. So what we've done is we've taken all the machines that are in the UK market. That at we the moment. Get, yeah, at the moment, 2021. Uh, we've taken, let's say, their current price, okay, the RRP, roughly speaking. Uh, we've taken some of the specification, you know, the size, uh, the output, maximum tip. It, it does make a difference. When you start delving, you start to understand that, obviously, like a, a T5 has got a decent-sized motor, can go up to a decent-sized tip, whereas, let's say, a QT190 or a GX is obviously going to be a little bit lower, and a Mark V is obviously going to be higher. So what we've done is we've done it as a spray survey to ask you some key questions first, because I think it's always important to ask more questions. When we get guys down here uh, on spraying courses, a lot of people don't buy a machine until they've done the training because they want to spend two days kind of getting inside my head or one of the other guys, Pete, you know, uh, Liam, Jack, whatever, to, to see what machine they recommend. Okay, and it's not always about what we recommend, it's about what's right for you. What we never do is, well, it don't really matter because, you know, at the moment, we, we, we don't sell anything. You know, we, we can get our hands on certain things and we can recommend certain machines or we can recommend certain suppliers, but we want to ask better questions. And that's what the survey does. So, so it, yeah, it is. It's literally taking all of the sprayers, air, airless sprayers, yep. from all the different manufacturers. So the, the whole price, price range from you know the much smaller we've got a budget the budget machines which are only up to 500 pounds yeah. then we've got entry level which is up to a thousand um, pro decorator is 1700 and we've got contractor 2000 um yeah all the way up to like the plaster machines at five thousand pound plus yeah the point is that whatever your needs and whatever your outputs it's got to fit within a bracket of of, of price it's got to you know, when you're starting, you, you, know, you don't have a limitless budget. Well, not, not many people anyway. But even if you did, you've got, to, you've got to get the right machine. I know people that have started spraying at the beginning, and I don't know why, they've been sold a 695. I, I don't get it. They're working, you know, they're working residential, you know, not, not massive commercial jobs. 
So actually having a look at the, the spray survey is really good and we've tried to break it down. Uh, like everything we do, any feedback, good or bad, you know, is good feedback. It gives us an indication of what we need to tweak. Um, the spray survey has just had a recent update because we're waiting on some of the suppliers to come back with it, uh, with more information. So we just had feedback from uh, Michael at Arista Spray. Mm -hmm. Not because they didn't want to put it, it's just that, like everybody, they were just really, really busy coming out of Christmas. So that's now been updated as well. So there's more information in there about, obviously, where Arista Spray stands, where Tritech stands. And, so where, yeah, and where they see the industry going this some, year as well. Uh, we, we've been privy to a lot of stuff. Um, and you know, like Colin, you know, he's really good with Wagner. He always keeps us abreast of what's coming. Uh, we're already doing some bits in the back lot, in the in the back here um, that we won't talk about for a little bit because we're kind of doing some testing. Because I, I, the um, PP90 is now available on a, a skid, I think, as well. Which I mean, I've, that's not in the sprayer survey. That wasn't there when we looked at doing it. And I think, is the QT290 coming? That's on a, coming yeah, on a skid, but that's not out yet either. Yeah, the QT290 is due to come out You're in a skid, but it's, it's not there. I think uh, Brexit's put a lot of brakes on quite a few things. Try take they're doing some, some new stuff. Uh, I've had some rumors of what, what's coming, so that, that, that again is gonna be interesting. Um, Greco, we've got some ideas of what, where that's gonna be going. So there is some really interesting machines coming uh, this year, but not just machines, tools, accessories, anything that kind of gives us an edge, speeds up the job, gives us a better finish. You know, uh, there's well, been any, a, yeah, speeds things up, makes life easier. Uh, there's been a lot of chatter about the 306 tips. Um, they, 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 they're very divided. Some people have said um, it's not made a massive difference. I think it's, it depends what you're spraying, depends what product you're spraying, it depends what machine you've got and, and what how time you of year. So there's lots of factors in there. I think that the 306s. Um, We've got a 306 and a 206. We haven't really had much of a chance to play with no, them. Have I, we? I played with them first off, and you know, did they make a massive difference? Uh, no, because of what I was actually spraying, I would always spray with, let's say, a 310. So then I went down to a 306, and I'm thinking, here, hang on a minute, you know, I've got to change a few more variables before I actually see some some massive benefit. Um, I can wield a, a gun round quite easily, so it's not. I don't know. It wasn't the end. It wasn't earth shattering should we say for me mm. but we will do some more playing with it um i oh, tip testing something that we need to do we've got a load of wagner tips as well to test we've got we, we got so. tons yeah we just got to find the time to do it but when we do the videos we're going to try and cut them up so that you guys the, there's an element of evergreen if if you guys ever miss a show and you're not sure what to do on spray make sense live there used to be something called units now they're called Guides. Guides. Oh, you threw me then. I literally Sorry. lost my words. Oh, we only found out earlier today. We yeah. couldn't find the units. No, so all the all of the live shows are all saved within units up until, I don't know, yesterday, the day before? Because I literally just put it, yeah, yesterday. Mm. So it looks like today they've changed it to guides. They can change. It's just like a woman's prerogative. She can change <laughs> her mind at any time for any reason without any prior notice Absolutely. with no recourse yep. at all. Yeah, and you're not allowed to even mention nope. the fact that it's nope. happened. No, nope. you just got to nope. <laughs> pretend that it was always that way. <laughs> so, yeah, the What Spray survey hopefully will help a lot of people out. Um, Did you put the link up for the industry report? That I can't put the links oh, in now. All the links, all go, the links the go in at the end. Yeah. Um, so. But, yeah, hopefully it will help a lot of guys out and girls. Um, it's a, not ha We don't get asked quite so much anymore. You don't see so much in the group, but at one point... Every other post was what machine should I buy? So hopefully that will kind of cut out a lot of the crap for a lot of people. Cool. You were going to run through uh, last week. Obviously, we had Matt in doing his kitchen. He's finished it. It's all fitted. Yep. Yeah, he came in. Uh, he finished it Friday. Um, I told him just take a little bit more time with it. He did a good job. He, he learned a lot. He made a lot of mistakes. Uh, he did switch over to my gun and compressor to, for the final coat, just to give himself a slightly finer finish. Um, he said he learnt more in three days than he's, he's, he's learnt in God knows how long. And he also couldn't believe what a difference it made just by having the different gun and compressor either. Just in speed, I mean, yeah. his compressor was having to keep catching up. He said just the speed of it, having that constant flow of air, just made a massive difference. There, there, there was all sorts, but 
Uh, he finished it, he came back Monday, I said don't try and, because unless you're fitting it the following day, don't wrap it, you're just going to leave it, it's not worth it, just let it sit, let it cure, just a bit, little bit longer, wrap it up, go on site, do all the final bits, uh, he sent some photos over to me, two or three photos, uh, looks really, really good, um, so yeah. credit, to, credit to him, like I said last week, he's no different than a lot of you new guys, having a go, uh, I did think he'd bitten off more than he could chew, but in all fairness, the photos do look good. Yeah, they look great. So credit, Matt, if you're on tonight, well done, bud. Well done. Um, some people keep asking me, Matt, he's done courses with us. He wanted to know if he could rent out the, if we would rent out the spray booth. Of course we would. Uh, we didn't charge him, okay? Uh, I spent probably more time in there than I wanted to because I was meant to be in the office, but you do what you do. Um, so I went in, got him sorted, and he, he was aware. But other people have said, you know, can I use it? If you're in and around the local area, you know where we are. Just reach out to me. Um, obviously, we will rent it at some point, but at the moment, we're quite happy to help out where we can. So it's there if you want it, within reason. Cool. So what is in the spotlight? What's in the spotlight? What's in the spotlight? Who's in the spotlight? More like it. Tonight, in the spotlight, we have Mr. Ian Jonathan testing Trump. <laughs> And, 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 and I know what I wanted to say with the fact of the testing, but my wife said that I'm very testing. Yeah, I did, actually. Yeah, that mm. was earlier. But to be fair. <laughs> to be fair. I'm very testing. So what are you testing? Uh, like everything, it is, some of you guys have known me for a long time. I've always had an ethos of, of testing the shit out of everything. Not, 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 not like anally and just getting like, you know, not getting any work done. We do get a lot of work done. But... I've been at this job a long time, especially the spray inside, and a product last week uh, let me down, okay, massively. Uh, hurt my business in the fact that we had a load of doors that we've now had to bring off site and sort out here in the workshop. Um, it's, it's caused us a lot of problems, and I've got to figure out what the problem is. And I've, I've also got to figure out how to rectify the problem. Okay, so any, any ideas what that paint might be? Is there any, any idea what, what paint actually let me down? So I'll, I'll just hang around for two seconds and look busy whilst you guys fill in uh, what, what actually, what paint bit me in the arse, should we say? No, it's not just you, we do still have days, weeks, where oh, yeah. it just happens? It's, it's curveballs. Yes, we've, we've lost money on this, obviously. We've, we've lost a little bit of credibility. We've lost a little bit of confidence. I think that's the biggest thing. Evening fix. Um, so we, we, you know, it hurts in a lot of ways. I think for you new guys, if you get a problem like this, it's, you, it's your confidence. You know, it, it really knocks your confidence and it kind of puts you back a bit. Not, 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 not the spray inside. I'm happy to carry on with that. Have we had any suggestions? Interesting. Ah, oh, okay, Bob. There you go. Everyone's saying Tiki, uh, Trevor intact. <laughs> no. No. Uh, yeah, that bit me in the arse. That was. Yeah. That definitely <laughs> bit me in the arse. That one. <laughs> uh, Bob has got it. Renna. Renna. Okay. Renna. Seven sixty. We went to Italy in 2019. Okay. Oh, great. We, we went out and we spent ages at Renna. Okay, through the help of Symphony. So what happened was, we didn't talk about it. I won't even let my team, who was with me in Italy, actually purchase any product for at least three, maybe four months. I didn't even talk to you guys for nearly six months. Until I was happy that this wouldn't bite me in the arse. Okay, so last week we sprayed black. Uh, RAL 7022, no, no, that's a different colour we're doing at the moment. I can't remember which one it was. Um, so this is 30%. It is a RAL colour. Okay, it's a RAL colour, okay, but it's technically black. And what it did on the doors was it, it pitted. I mean, like, fine, fine pits. I mean, I've seen it on some other work, but I've never actually had it myself. And, and first off, Liam sprayed it two coats and really started kicking his confidence, didn't it? Well, he's yeah, he's not, yeah, he's not been spraying that long and we've kind of left him to his own devices And on I this said, job, you've got to make really. your own mistakes, you know, because that way you learn and you can rectify and you start to see things better and, and, and adapt. So I went in, me and Lindsay went in, sorry, 
We sanded everything, we rectified everything, we spotted everything, we made sure everything was 100%. We, 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 we 400 your final pass, we, we hoovered it, we wiped it. I've sanded more black doors over this last three months yeah. than ever, I think. And then we sprayed it and I got a phone call saying, you know, we're still not happy. You know, he's not happy. The, we didn't, the client was fine, but we weren't happy. It's round 9005. Okay, fine. So Renner 760. So why did the Renner bite me in the arse? Okay, why did it, it bite me in the arse? Simply put, it didn't. All right, there's got to be a point within business, okay, that no matter with how, how new you are and how long you've been doing this, that you put your hands up. You've just got to put your hands up and say, I'm the one that fucked up. Okay, it, it, it's as simple as that. There's nothing wrong with the product. Yeah, okay? yes, it bit you in the arse, but ultimately it was your fault. It bit me in the arse because do you know what it did? I've had such good results over it, and I've listened to all you guys, and I've seen some amazing projects that you guys have spread with these products, all right? And I know Owen really well, because we spend a lot of time talking about products, because he's like me, he's really into this. And he helps massively, and I know he helps you guys. So he never sells, he, 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 he lets the product do that, he just gives really good information. So what I'm trying to get at is, it gave me too much confidence, all right, I got a little bit cocky, I got a bit blasé, and I've tested this on tiles, I've tested it on all sorts of different substrates. And to be fair, you did test it on these doors. I did. We, we, we sprayed one of the doors, we were very happy with it, okay, and we checked everything, because uh, that's what I do. I said to the guys, we left it like three, maybe four days before we came around and started working on all the others. But, it pitted. And the problem is that I didn't actually go through the system the right way. Simple as that. I cut out certain parts of the system. Why? Because I'd had such good results with this that I said to the guys, look, the doors are already black. Don't worry about it. This stuff will stick like shit to a blanket. All right? It'll stick your nan to the back, this stuff. <laughs> don't know, I don't know about that. I don't know where that came from. No, I, I like don't that. know where that I came from. I love that one. Stick your nan to the back. <laughs> I, I'm not sure about that, but hey. But the point is, I took some video, I took some photo, and I sent, sent it to Owen. And he phoned me up straight away, and he's like, talk me through it. So I talked to him through it. Straight away he knew what it was. Of course he would. And it was the fact that I was spraying over a product that was already sprayed, that was, that's coming from Italy. He's saying, look, it's not just the product itself. It's probably got a coating on there that is like a cleaning coating, so obviously it looks really nice when they unwrap it and fit the doors, because black always marks. He says, probably that. And I said, yeah, but you know, it had three coats. And he's going, Ian, if it's all, it's just coming through. He said it's like tannins. It's like tannins. It, you know, it will just keep coming through, no matter what we do, it just keep coming through. He said, you've got to seal it, you've, you've got to seal it. and you didn't. You know, he did talk about an additive, okay? And I thought it was just, you know, with these paints, I thought it was quite simple, you know, because Owens tried to keep it simple for us. And he said to us, said, look, there's this hardness and cross-linkers. You can't use the hardness, okay, because they're isocyanides, but you can use the cross-linkers. This particular cross-linker is very good because what it does is increases drying time, curing time, and um, chemical resistance. Brilliant. When I used right. But I didn't use any in this, but he also said there's another additive that we can add to help combat this 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 product coming through, just just help. We could put it in the primer. We could put it in the top coat. Because we had no, we have no idea what that product is. Whether it's no. it could be PU, could be AC, could be water based, could be anything. We just did what we thought was a really good years time served practice, good ethic, the right way of doing it. And I just cut out some. I cut out a couple of processes. Well, I just cut out one really, and and it bit me in the ass. It truly bit me in the ass to the fact that we've got to strip the doors right back and start again. So my boys have got a lot of work to do over the next few days, and I've got to pay them to do that. And we've Plus I've got to buy all the pro product. We've brought them back to the workshop because basically the rest of the job's finished, isn't it? So we've got nowhere else to do them. We are lucky to have the workshop to be able to do it. My point is, I hear, and I've heard it for many, many years, on groups, Decorators, if they don't get the wrong way with a paint supplier, kick off. I'll put it all over social media. You know, I'll slate them. Okay? 
it doesn't really work being in a negative way like that. Well, and nine times out of ten, and we've had this conversation with Owen, nine times out of ten, it's human error. You, machines is exactly the same. All right, so let's say that I was a smart ass. all right? Yeah, you've been around a long time, done this job for a while. So I said to Owen, mate, this paint's failed. And he goes, oh, yeah. So I go through everything, and he's asked the questions, yeah, 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 did all that, did all that, did all that. I'm not being funny. You know, the guys that were with me when we were in Italy, we went into one of their labs, just one of them, they have quite a few, and they had this machine that was multi-million pound micros microscope, but you know, it was like the... Went down hundreds was, of it, layers it was of paint. crazy. And when they show you what is wrong with the problem, nine out of ten times, it's back to the applicators. In, this, in the scenario we saw in Rena, it was the fact that they hadn't cleaned the filters out, so the fibres from the filters were starting to, to leave, to, 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 to break away from the actual filters. And those fibres were getting mixed up in the paint and transferred with the paint onto the surface. So Renner's going, not our problem. So if I thought I was clever enough to pull someone like, like, like Renner apart, seriously, you know, I, I'd be made to look like a complete idiot. Well, there were quite a few things there that... Owen had mentioned, and you were like, yeah, no, I didn't do that. No, he just, no I didn't do that. And he, he's literally like, he's great. He's for, me, he's for me today, and he's like, how are we doing? Have we started? Are, you know, is there anything you need? It's like, look, I'm cool. I'm cool with the process. I know what I've got to do. I will keep you up to date. But I just thought it was really good, not only to, to explain that you need to test your shit. All right? I'm sorry, you do. I do. And I tested it and everything else. And it's funny because I tested it on tile and it's absolutely friggin' rock solid. But it wasn't on tile, it was a substrate that was obviously reacting with what was underneath. So that, that's something I've had to learn the hard way, what I have now. But it, it's funny how it's kind of laid us on to the next part, hasn't it? Well, it's, again, it's something that we've kind of wanted to do for a while off of the back of a client who we'd, we'd done a kitchen, again, yep. like a, a very, very dark colour, almost black. Um, and she used Dettol in the sink. It was just at the start of lockdown. Um, she'd used Dettol in the sink, obviously, to clean all the worktops or whatever. And she'd managed to splash it all down the front of the doors. I, sp I spoke to Owen and I sent a photo. And I didn't even see what it was. He just turned around and went, yeah, that's got to be something like Dettol. You see, just with a water-based system, even with the... Um, with the crosslinker. The crosslinker, so it's all going to react. So we thought that we would test with with Dettol, with bleach, and with we're going to cut the board into eight sections. We're not going to we? cut it. We're going to strike. No, it. all right. Yeah. Split it. We're going to split it into nine boxes, and we've got we've got eight of these. So we've got we've got four different ways. Of, we've got four white, four black, and over the weeks we're going to we're going to we're going to spray a couple tonight just just to kind of spray a little bit. We're going to spray a couple black, okay, get those on. I've got a couple here. So we've got one here that obviously we've started to prep, okay. So again, we've got a little bit more work to do on this. I'm not happy with it. We'll just keep going it until I get a really nice finish. And then what we're going to do is we'll leave it a couple of days. We're going to have some with cross link and some without, okay. We're going to strip it up. And Lindsay's going to get just, good to Sainsbury's, let's go middle road. Yeah. She's going to get eight standard household cleaners. You so know. things like flash with bleach, flash with fairy, um, yeah, like a method Silly spray. Band or something. Yeah. Just we're going to get your uh, let's say some of the, the 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 neutral natural products. And what we're going to do is we're actually going to do some testing. Some we're just going to do the wiping, but some which I saw in Italy, which was really good, was they actually sprayed it and put like a little petri dish over, so it stayed wet for longer. So we're going to try that. We're just going to, I need to do it, but, but why? Why? Because, because I'm anal about shit, you know, because I, I, I want to know the ins and outs of a duck's arse. Um, why? Why do I want to know? Well, kitchens for us is a big part of our business, more so because we're doing a lot of marketing through the Decorators Growth Club at the moment. And kitchens are a big thing for us, okay? We know a lot of people having got kitchens. That's great, but we will dominate when it comes to the marketing, so we'll always get the lion's share, and that's brilliant for us, and we will start to take the kitchens we want. But I need to be able to give guarantees, more so than any competitor. If a competitor says, I give two year guarantee, I give three. If, if they say I give three years, I give four. 
you know, we, we want to be able to turn around and say, we guarantee it, but I need to know, and I need visual evidence, video evidence, everything, to say, look, we've tested it. These are products that we, okay, are happy to recommend, and these are products that we would prefer you didn't use. You know, it's not all set in stone. So we're trying to find ways that we know what we're talking about. We will do this live every week, okay, for the next two or three weeks. We'll stripe it up, we'll spray it, we'll come back the following week, we'll, we'll double check it all and everything else. But I'll tell you now, right at the beginning, the caveat is quite simple. I won't tell you, all right? I'm not going to tell you which, which uh, cleaner is the best or which cleaner didn't work, all right? I'm going to tell you that what you should do is have the word test in your name. You should know this, all right? It's no good saying, oh yeah, I'll give you a three guarantee because I saw this fella, right, on video, nice fella, he, he, he's on video every week, he did all the testing, and do you know what he said? That's the one you should use. Really? Is that what you're going to sell to your customer? No. What you should be doing is actually knowing for a fact that you do know this shit. And if, if you do get questioned on it, you've got video, photo, and practical evidence to actually back it up. A lot of you guys that have done training with me, you've seen how I use the tiles. And it surprises me every time I pull them out, because I put them out and everybody goes, wow, that's amazing. Helmi 10, honestly, people are going, oh, it's not very durable. Really? Seriously? If you do the testing we've done, it's one of the most durable paints I've ever come across. It's fantastic. But I keep saying, have you done your tests? They'll come back to another course and I go, have you done your tiles? No. Why? You know, not only do you know, but if you kind of leave those kicking around in front of your client, it kind of says, look, yeah, I'm really into this. So the idea is what we're going to do is with, with Renault 760, why? Because at the moment, that's the product that we prefer to use on our kitchens. All right? We used to use Helmi. It's very good. I use Helmi all day long, but for different things. And I use Renault for one thing. And, you know, there isn't one paint that fits all. Never will be at this point. Not that, not that we found. Intact, tried it, bitters in the arse. We know why it doesn't work. So they've said they're reformulating. Great, if they come back with a new formula, we'll have a look at it. But we're going to test this. We're going to test it with you guys. So any questions, any suggestions, any ideas, anything we've not thought about, please let us know. Yeah, Tom said maybe worth trying some citrus-based cleaners. See, yep, yeah, absolutely. For us... It's not about bigging up Rena. It's not about bigging up Symphony. It's about me knowing my shit. So when I go to my customers, I can charge the right money, I can give them the right guarantees, and I can sleep like a baby. That's what I'm after. You know, yes, I am very lucky to have a very good rapport with, let's say, Symphony, and also with Owen, so I do get a little bit of help. You know, you guys, just, just do your testing. I don't care whether you're using Isomat, Caprol, whether you're using your Ticarilla. We've done our testing. We're just doing testing at the moment with this. I'm going to be testing a lot more of the Caprol products. I really like them. You know, these this are the products that I've already tested that I've got to finish testing. We've got a, probably about 30 tins of Technos in there that we were given by Peter. Mm -hmm. We've still not had a chance to test all of them, but we've tested some of them. The Futura, one of the best samples I've got on my tile is Futura 80. I can't shift it. I can't. It's, it, it, it's stuck down to the bath. <laughs> if anybody knows that, if anybody can tell me where that, that saying comes from and what it's for, I'll give you a hoodie. Uh, it'll have to be extra small because that's all we got. <laughs> yes, our only answer if you're extra small, give it to your kids. Yeah, Flash with Bleach, Tom, is one of the other ones that I am going to try. Does this make sense to some of you guys? Because if so, great, make a start. Why don't you, over the next couple of weeks, follow, follow along, do the same. You know, if you're on site, just get a board, you know, just get a piece of MDF, just get anything, an old door, anything. And why don't you do the testing at the same time we're doing it? Why don't you test eight different... Reese, here's one. You know, Liam, here's one. Why don't you test eight other different products than we test? You know, wouldn't it be just great to be able to turn around and say, yes, 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 ooh, maybe not. If I get the products over the next couple of days, I will put a photograph up in the group to let you know which ones I am testing. Anybody, or please, Ian's anybody who's testing. prepared to work with me on this, honestly, uh, yeah, I, I, I would love it. I'd love someone to be working alongside saying, you know what, I like the logic. All of you want to spray kitchens. All of you probably spray kitchens. Yeah. So wouldn't you rather know what I know? 
Or wouldn't you rather know through a collective rather than just certain people knowing this, oh, keeping it? I'm not, I'm not keeping it because I'm an arse. I'm keeping it because I don't want to give you everything because otherwise you'll never do the work. And if you don't do the work, you can't grow. All right? Like I said earlier, Liam had to make his own mistakes. All right? It's the only way he grows. Matt had to make his own mistakes. He pulled out a good kitchen. All right? It's easy for me to walk in there and just say, do this, do this, and do it like that and that. It's not really going to help. All right? So uh, I'm just going to spray up a couple of boards. I think it's quite cool. Um, what, what are you using to spray? I mean, obviously, we know the product. What are you actually using to spray? When I do my samples now, I just use my compressor because I've got the PPS system. Yeah, if I wanted to spray this with, obviously airless, I've got to put it in the machine, I've got to clean out the machine at the end of the day. Yeah, it's just, for me, doing what I do here and I'm doing samples, we've got, I've got probably 64 of these bad boys to do. And I think we've got something like 30 odd colours. We do two samples of the same colour, because what if one of them goes a little bit skewy? We've always got the best one to hand out. I've also found recently, when we go do a lot of kitchens and we've got the samples, customers go, oh, I really like that. I go, well, leave it, leave it there. It's fine, just leave it. Are you sure? It's, look, it's fine. We don't always get the kitchen job. You know, we've had a couple where, you know, we didn't get the job in the end. You know, we went to, we quoted the job, we went to see the job. Admittedly, there was extra work there. And we, we, we've said, look, you know, it's more money because of X, Y, and Z. And we didn't get the job for whatever reason. Uh, we've had a couple of jobs, unfortunately, you know, being put on hold because, you know, like I keep saying about 2021, I think people people's jobs are at risk. You know, the, the, the client said, you know, we'd love to do it, but can we just hold it, hold fire because my husband's job is a little bit... And I, and I think we're going to see a lot of that at the moment. And that's why we talk a lot about the, the growth club, you know, so that those people that are ahead of their competitors through all the marketing and everything else, um, they're the ones that are going to get the, the, the premium clients, but also the clients when they start getting a little bit quieter because it's got to filter through. It's got to filter through. I don't think the lockdown is the problem. I think, I think we've yet to see the problem, but that's, that's a different thing. That's far too political. I don't think it's political. I think it's just common sense. What we do is uh, we cut these into four. We use them for the courses. We cut them into four. And now what we've got is these great little samples that we're going to obviously... Uh, make a display in the workshop so we can have all these. Um, so someone said on here, if, if testing certain paints, we'll need to do it in accordance with the system. So yeah, said paints primer. You would do, if you're testing, especially something like um, cleaners, you would have to use the system that you would use actually on the kitchen. So yeah, agreed. Be the, the primer that you would use for kitchens, top coat you would use for kitchens. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I use the reference to baking. You know, people, people turn around and say, you know, oh, this is, this has failed. And they go, really, what was the undercut? Oh, it was a completely different brand, completely different paint. You know, it's like, look, you've got more chance of not having failings and more chance of support and recourse from a company if you're using their system. And even if you end up mixing paints, you know, not all paints want to be mixed, but I look at it and let's say, let's say Renner, we've been to their factory. We've been to a few paint factories now. But the point is, Everything that was there, okay, is pretty much, no matter what paint they mix, the core ingredients are the same as baking a cake. You've got chocolate cake and a lemon drizzle, all right? The flour, the eggs, the milk in both of the cakes, pretty much the same. All right, fine, you've got chocolate, cocoa powder in one and lemon zest, etc., cetera, in, in the next. Right, but that's that's tiny amount in comparison to the main core ingredient. So when you're using a system and you want to give a guarantee to a customer, for let's say a kitchen, all right? Yeah, stick with the system. It's there for a reason. You know, the customer would rather pay it. If you said to a customer, look, I could charge you this, and it's the full system, or I can you know, save 500 quid, and it's, it's kind of like a, a bit of Mickey Mouse effort. Well, I think I know which way they'd go. Mm. So, so we've got tons and tons of samples to do, so that's why we use the PPS system. Why? Because you know, I could do every one of those colors uh, no effort. Takes me like a uh, minute, 30 seconds to clean out the gun, put another one on, and away you go. Do you want me to give a bit of a spray? I fancy having a bit of a spray. Yeah, go for it. Well, you didn't spray anything last week, did you? So no, you just you seems didn't stop. to be a bit stupid seeing as it spraying makes sense. Yeah, you don't stop talking, that's the problem. Me? 
Oh. Don't forget to switch the camera. Damn cheek. I might just turn your mic off as well. Okay, I don't know whether they can hear me. I'll, uh, Hopefully I'll the way. microphone's just working better this week. I forgot to put my microphone. On yeah, the I spotted inside. that, but another whole different test could be foods and drinks. Oh, yeah, yeah, curry is one of the worst. Um, wine sauces. Yeah, Ian doesn't need any excuse to open a bottle of wine. That's for sure. So. Are you talking about me? No. Definitely not. Okay. So, we've got a lot of boards. I've got some of them in the drying room. Uh, these are just like the last two that I've got to do. Uh, we'll sand them down, give them another coat tomorrow, and then next week we'll come back to them. So, at least this way, you know, we, we can actually say, look, we, we sprayed them last week, we, we put in the tip and the the, the uh, cleaners on this week, we'll check them again in another week. So at least it's a, it's a, it's a definite system that we're trying to adhere by. <laughs> yeah, apparently Tom. So let's see if he remembers to keep out of the way of the camera. Like we said, we're going to do two black, two white, two with so a black and a white one with cross linker. I'm not quite sure what he's doing on the other two boards. So we'll let these dry, and then obviously next week, next week we'll actually we'll split them off, and then. Um, actually start testing them. Oh, it's gone quiet when you turn that off. Are you doing two or just one? Just one. Just one. Because I want to I wanna chat about some other bits. Fair enough. So you're going to leave the spray into the boys for tomorrow, I'm assuming? Yeah, screw that. <laughs> okay, so I gave this another one. You keep having a, a bit of a dig that I'm not working on it. Um, again, we've got, we've got some pitting around the bottom here. And I'm not quite sure as to why, because we had this on the black as well on this one. So it's something I need to... Again, that could be primer, or would that have been the, the system? I don't know, I don't know. Uh, it's still drying, so I'm just going to put it under here. Black is an absolute bugger. Ah. Um, let me ask you, do you charge more when you spray black? Or do you charge the same money? Really, it should be black, dark blues, reds, greens, it should, it yellows. Should be, it should be up in tiers. You know, I don't think the pricing is as straightforward as just that's it. We never do, but when we finish a job, we say we should, but we never do it. No, we have been, obviously, because we've got the pricing course and else, so we've been working on some of the new <coughs> formulations, and this is stuff that we need to be focusing on. You know, so if it is, but it has to go in conjunction, not just with the pricing, but it has to go in conjunction with the, uh, the quotation. The fact that if the colour is X, it will be another X percentage mm -hmm. due to the fact that we need more work. I mean, we do the same with Farron Ball. We charge more for, obviously, we don't use Farron Ball, but every once in a while you have something like a designer that won't budge. Um, or a job that you're due to start on Wednesday and then the builder tells you on Tuesday, don't worry about colours because the client's bought the paint. Yeah, how can that work out? <laughs> yeah, well, we're into it for two coats at the minute and the boys reckon it needs more. Oh, so. that's so... Pisses me off that. Does. And she's only bought two, two and a half litres of paint. Okay. We'll see how we get on. 
Okay. Uh, any questions? Do you, do, you, do you understand the logic of why we do the testing? Okay. We're going to come back next week and we're going to start to put the stuff together. Cool. What's next? I was, someone had commented and I couldn't um, <laughs> see it, so I was just okay. looking on my phone. <sighs> Finished? Yeah. Okay. So what's next? Bring up the next pick. Next is the how. The how. The how is how can we help? Uh, how can we help? Is there anything that you want help with? Uh, the one factor that we've realised after last year is a lot of decorators that we've already helped uh, understand spraying systems, products, etc. You know, people through PTA support and on the webinars. We now do, obviously, the webinars for marketing um, and business, but more so marketing because that's where my focus and my passion is really at the moment is I want to only work on the jobs that I want. I've, I've spent... I wish I'd have known years ago what I know now. We've always been heavily focused on marketing and mail campaigns. I mean, blimey, I remember early doors walking, well, obviously when you used to Flyers. do leaflet drops, we would walk round all of the roads that we wanted to work in. I mean, I remember hours folding envelope, folding letters and putting them in envelopes before flyers it were even a thing. We'd do that and go around and post them in all the houses. We st we'd always get a few jobs out of it, the ones that we wanted. It's they always, always worked. worth it, yeah. But now, obviously, it's better to be able to get in front of people. More so with lockdown, a lot of people are still in, in, in lockdown. So the only way to get in front of them is probably the best way, via video, via photo, etc. Mm. But I, I, I learned over the past few years that we were still getting certain jobs that we didn't want. And, and, and that's... Ex that's that's understandable because the majority of decorators are still getting work from their previous channels. They're still getting work from word of mouth. Word of mouth is great when you control it, but when, when it's out of your control and you're getting inquiries from, from circles that you don't particularly want because you ideally want to put your rates up, then it, it becomes even harder. So the webinars are very focused on all of social media. You know, uh, if I was to say to you, okay, who has used Facebook Boost? Who's boosted a post on their business page? Give me a yes or a no. Let's see, let's see a few yeses and nos. Obviously there's a delay, so we won't get, you won't get those straight away. Yeah. So whilst you guys are writing, obviously, the, the yeses and nos, we'll be able to come back to those. And it's about a 15-second delay, I reckon. Mm. Yeah, there is. Yes. So the boost, whilst we're waiting. <laughs> Got yeses, quite a few nos. Paul says yes, David, yes. Trevor, no. Junior Byron, yes. Jack, no. Okay, so the question quite simply is, for those that said yes, did it work? And if you said yes, how can you measure that? You know, uh, it's going to work because it's better than what you did before, which technically was nothing. If you boost 10 posts, were they all really productive? Were some better than others? Are the boost posts better than your Facebook ads? Well, maybe you don't run Facebook ads. Maybe you don't know where to start with Facebook ads. If you haven't run boost posts, why? Is it because you don't understand them? Is it because you're fearful? Or is it just the fact that you think it's a complete waste of money? Or you don't need to do any marketing because you're quite happy at the moment? I think people have been talking about boycotting Facebook today. <laughs> All right. Again, just political, but... The thing is with it, the webinars are there for you guys. All right, They're there for you if you want them. Uh, we're going to turn them into online courses eventually. But... The live webinars are just really good. They're, they're like this. They're interactive. There's two of us. There's two professionals doing it. There's myself and Chris. Chris knows everything about, obviously, the, the marketing side of it. And I'm very good with, obviously, understanding the decorating and how it relates to our industry. Probably more so than anyone. Because mm. that's that I've made it my mission to do so. I'm only focused on decorators. Uh, yeah, carpenters and bits. What I mean is decorators, but more so sprayers. You know, how can we use what we've got to get in front of better customers with better prices uh, and just, just enjoy it more. That, that's the key. 
Uh, there's 31 live webinars over March, April and May. That's me and Chris. And June. And June, part of June. Uh, that's literally every Tuesday and Wednesday evening we're just going to be running webinars. General, there's the option, the odd one that's not um, that's not on a Tuesday or a Wednesday. So There's different options. Oh, Lindsay will give you the one. link. All right. Uh, we're going to give some of these webinars away over the over the next few weeks. We'll probably give you a certain amount away. So, and I mean for everyone. So you've got 31. Um, you can do individual if you want, you know, only certain ones, or you can do the whole kit caboodle. It's entirely up to you. We did a 10-week program last year for a lot of guys. Worked really well. Eight o'clock um, Tuesday, Wednesday evenings. Jump in, jump out. It's entirely up to you. The point is, we're doing it. It's it, we've already got a lot of people interested, which is great. Uh, it's there for you guys. All of the dates and everything as well are on the on the website. All of the, every all thirty one are all up there. So, and again, if you've got any questions, reach out to us. Trevor, you're absolutely right. Don't stop marketing just because you're busy. You need to be marketing all the time. In fact, very often you're better off marketing when you are busy. Peaks and troughs. Yeah. But more importantly, one of the things we've been doing since we started the mentor program for some of these guys earlier this year, we've been very focused on mental health. And Trevor's really good, he's, he's one of our ambassadors in the fact that um, he understands really well that when you feel good, your marketing's really good. And when you feel shit, because you're desperate, your marketing's really shit. So yeah, you're gonna attract shit jobs or no jobs when you really, really need them, instead of when you're actually at a high and your work's good and you're feeling good and you're taking really good photos and everything else, and people are really buying into this kind of positive outcome, you, you know it makes sense, you've all been there. When you feel good, you attract good things. When you feel shit, you attract shit things. Yeah. Marketing is, is the ability to kind of build a campaign so you understand what you're building. You've got a strategy which kind of clarifies what you want to get your message over to. And the best thing is automation. You know, we've got uh, all the guys coming down here on, on Monday, Tuesday, and the idea is that by the time they leave Tuesday, everything's automated. For the, for, the, for the next, uh, as long as we can make it. You know, if we can get them to, to get busy and build two months of a campaign, th it will all be automated. And they will literally go, oh, the marketing's in place. Yeah, they'll still be doing stuff and building stuff, but it's in place. So the webinars will help you do that. Okay. Paul, um, Paul saying, I've got more, more views to my Facebook page and website, but no jobs. Um, again, that depends, Paul, whether you've just done a boost post and nothing else after it. So again, with marketing, you have to have consistency. There's no point putting one post up and then two months later putting the next one up or boosting a post one month and then not putting anything up for two you, months. Uh, it is continuity. Everybody says content is king. It's not, all right? Consistency, consistency yeah. is king. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. You've just got to be front of mind, all right? But if you do a post, Trevor's at this, he's got some really good likes on a post. Yeah, which is great because people agree we like that doesn't mean they want to buy today but they really liked it but as long as you're doing that when they are ready for buying or they know someone who is ready for buying they go, oh do you know what you need to look at trevor great really good work nice guy do you know what makes me laugh every every time i see it great so he's front of mind so eventually what happens it's like it's not working it's not working it's not working next thing you go oh you know sharon she's got jobs coming in from the positivity side of it. And she's like, oh my God, since I've, I've changed my angle, it just changes. The point is, the how is how to do shit, all right? There is a lot of what you should do. I'm telling you what you should do, all right? There you go. I'm also technically telling you why you should do it. What I'm not telling you is how to do it. And there's a lot of that on, the, on, on, on YouTube, everywhere. I know because I've trawled it. We, we, we're all, we spend a lot more money in the background. You're doing courses, it's a fraction of what we're paying because we're doing even bigger mentor courses with bigger companies, with bigger, you know, um, I'm not even going to use the word, but the influencers or whatever you want to call them, just, just people that know what they're doing. But the thing is with it, you've got to, you've just got to get going with it. You've just got to make a start. Yeah, something's better than nothing, 100%. Yeah. So if you want it, it's there, it's the how. We, we, we're going to teach you how, not just the why and what, but literally the how. So, right, top tip. So top tip, I'll put the link up. It's one of the ones that is 
um, that Ian's done previously. It's how to stop the spray gun from leaking. Have you? Is it a spray gun or spray tip? Well, technically, it's well, it's if it's on there, then it's. We the we gun. we got asked this a lot, yeah, and you've got some some people doing new videos, which which I suppose is nice, you know, of teaching you guys what tips mean and other things. But you know, there's a lot of factors that I know you guys know a lot, but there's some stupid little top tips, you know, why it's leaking most of the time, and it's only tri tech tips, uh, tri tech guards and tips that we have this main problem with, which is weird because. Every other guard, which is a Grey Coeur of Wagner, generally come uh, with a seat and a saddle, which is the bit that comes with a tip, already. But when you buy a new extension or anything with the new guard, it doesn't actually come. No, okay? Tritex don't tend to, unless it's on the gun that comes with the yeah. machine. Or on the, the gun. Yeah. The one on the gun does. The one on the gun, but nothing else. The seat and the saddle. So what we've done is we've done a little video, it keeps it really simple, of why it leaks. But there's, there's a few factors. Wagner tips are really, really good. All right, really good. They've, they've got this little ridge that when you put them in, they won't come out. Brilliant. Okay. Greco are probably the closest for the next bit on that. Try take tips. I love the tips, but they, they, they won't see, they, see how they go skew. They, they go too far, and you know, if you're if you're twisting a tip for a blockage, you can also pull it out by mistake. Therefore, the hole rises. It locks up. It, for a machine that's so incredibly engineered, this, this, this is just the worst part. The guard, the tips are nice, but the guard is just, it, I, I just, it winds me up so much. When really? We teach, Never have guessed. When we teach people to spray, whenever you're ready for starting, just put your hand to one side, give it a little pull and carry on. Don't ever start messing around here. And if you're a, a sprayer that has a habit of spraying on a, let's say, uh, a horizontal and then a vertical and a horizontal and a vertical just be careful when you turn it back okay because chances are with this particular guard it will loosen so we try and make sure that we just turn it one way all the time so it's always tightening it up not loosening it it's just a little top tip have a look online spray makes sense website it is the google for sprayers okay every week we're just adding more and more content if there's anything you guys want us to take a video of or you've got ideas, we'll, we'll, we will try our best to get those videos up and done. Mm -hmm. So we're always adding more information to the website. It's, it's quite simply Google for sprays. We want it to be, you know, I know there's other websites out there for, for our industry that is, is, is sell, 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 sell. This is just information. All right, there's loads and loads of information for you guys to, to just get those like top tips. Problem is, it's easy to search YouTube to a certain extent. Facebook is really hard, so we've now got the, the Spray Makes Sense website, which works really well. Google for sprayers. So, final thing. Coffee? No, can't have coffee oh, yet. final thing. You can't have wine, because we're not at home, so... I can when we get home, but it'll be too late. So okay, I'm gonna turn it a bit this time. Tritech Treasure Hunt. Tritech treasure hunt comes with a course for anybody that needs it well you, you can have a course anyway fix was asking can you choose a course no simple as that the idea is that we will give you an introduction course to make sure you understand the machine how it all works how to put it safely how to take it apart if need be basic maintenance and just get you spraying okay so you get a full course on that um i've had my tri -tech for five years went in for a service Michael said, look, it's not quite right. Tritech aren't quite happy with it. There's a couple of bits we need to change. They're going to send you a new machine. And I said, look, that's very nice of them. Thank you very much. Uh, I don't need a new machine. Uh, they support me well enough through the academies and everything else. I actually really enjoy I really like my T5. And I want it back because I want to see how long it's going to last and, and how it performs and everything else. He said, well, they've actually sent it. So I've said, fine, okay, do you know what? We'll give it away. So it's kind of started this idea that every six to eight weeks, we'll always have a, a machine running. Even if we end up purchasing one ourselves, we just want to make sure that you guys have got something that, you know, make it a bit fun. Mm -hmm. So how does the treasure hunt work? Well, just like any other treasure hunt, we will give you a link. No, uh, we will give you a clue, all right? And the clue will lead you to one of, our, one of ours, 
Arista Sprays, or Tritex social media. Okay? Within that, there's going to be a question. So you might have to watch a video, you might have to look at a post, you're just going to have to hunt around a few posts or a few videos until you find the answer. Once you've found the answer, okay, because you've registered, it will tell you that just, just follow and turn on notifications for all of the social media. Why? Because that's where some of the, some of the information is going to be. So you get there quicker. The thing is with it, once you've done it, you've also, within the email that we send you once you've registered, there's a link. Every time you get the answer for this week's, okay, this week's clue, you go back and you fill in the answer, submit it, job done. Okay, but you do have to, obviously, if we said that you've got to follow, like, share, etc., you, you do, because we will check everybody who's in the, it, let's say, in the, uh, in the draw to do it. We're going to try and get one of the main guys, we're going to either get Dan or Don from Tritech to try and pull out the winner. So I've just got to reach out to them and see if they'll do that for us, which would be really cool. Um, so the first clue this evening, okay, you have to come... You have to come back each week to get the next clue. If you can't make this week, like Lynn said, Spray Makes Sense Live will be in the... Guides. Guides. <laughs> so you can go back and re-watch it. Well, it, I leave it in announcements up until, I mean, up until, until we start sort of following week. Tuesday, really. Okay. So the first thing you've got to do is, on our social media, okay, I will make it easier for the first one, all right? On our YouTube, there's a video, okay, we were at the PND show 2019 and I was talking about a jet roller. What I want to know is what did I do with the jet roller at the end of the video? So find out what I said, what I did, okay? Go back to your email, follow, follow the link, register the answer. But what you're going to need to do whilst you're on YouTube is you need to make sure that you're subscribed, okay? That you push the notification and you also give us a thumbs up. Okay, and in the comments, so we know you've looked at it and you've got the answer, we want you to write in the comments of that video, spray makes sense. It sounds complicated, but it's not. And it's all in the email, basically, that you get. So the first thing you need to do, I'll put the links down the bottom um, in a second. So the first thing you need to do is register. And once you've registered, you will then get the email explaining exactly what you need Bottom to do. Bottom line is, guys and gals, if, 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 you, if you get so far and you're not sure what to do, just put a post up on Spray Make Sense. We'll help. We won't tell you where the clue is, but we'll tell you how to, how to get there and what to do with it. Once you've done one, that's it. It's easy. But don't forget, once we get this, this nailed, each six to eight weeks, there's going to be another machine sat here or something of value sat here. Mm -hmm. So if you don't win it this, this time, you're going to win it on the next one. There's always going to be stuff coming. You know, we don't want to be giving loads of stuff. You know, it started because we thought, oh, how are we going to give this away? We can't just say, oh, who wants to win this tonight? We thought, no, let's, let's, let's get this working. And in all fairness, we want you guys to help boost Tritex numbers through their social media. I would, for two and a half grand's worth of kit. <laughs> Everyone will just unfollow them at the end. If but you do, that's down to you. It's just, I mean, if you can sleep with yourselves for that, that's fine. Yeah, it's just, like I say, it's just a bit of fun. It's a bit of fun. Making you work for it. Yeah. And that's it. So, any questions? Any questions regards the, the, the treasure hunt? Any, any questions regards, obviously, the webinars? Uh, the spotlight, obviously, we've said that if anybody's prepared to, to help and join in with the actual testing, I think that's fantastic. It'd be really good if we could get some more people involved in that. Uh, a big shout out to Matt for obviously nailing his kitchen last week, which is really cool. Mm -hmm. And if you are new to spraying and you, or you're thinking about a new sprayer, do check out the What Sprayer survey, which is in the industry report. All of the links are going to come down. Okay. Uh, oh, a big shout out. I mean, like a massive shout out. I mean, like boom shout out. Uh, I just want to thank. I know CITB are on, on, on here. But I know some of you guys deal with CITB as well. <coughs> We've just been awarded £4,933. Okay. That's, that's going towards our training this year. Last year we did two MVQ Level 7s. We're doing MVQs this year. We've got all sorts of courses that we're running, uh, so that we're doing ourselves. So if you guys haven't got the CITB funding, uh, reach out to Tracy. 
it's not as easy as just turning up. You know, they want companies that are going to invest in themselves, in their staff, and grow. So use the money. CITB, boom. Thank you very much for that. Nine, sorry, 4,933 quid in my account. Get in. Not quite yet, but it was approved. It was approved. It was I mean, approved literally, yesterday. They did this last year. Uh, two weeks later, it was in the account. Mm -hmm. Based on Monday on Ian. Well, yeah, if the money comes in, Trevor, absolutely. Um, Colin, do you get a hose and a gun with it? Well, hopefully, it's Everything. still in the box with a bit of luck. Everything. So, yeah, yeah hopefully the, the, it was just the machine that came out. See, we'll yeah, we'll even throw in a bloody whip. You, know, you get the whip with it, shoelace. You, you get can't get a shoelace with it. I, can't, I haven't got any yet. Yeah, sorry, we, we're still trying to get We've had Brexit making it really hard. This, this shipment that we've had has gone back to Germany twice now. I think Stefan's getting a bit pissed off. Mm. So. Never mind. Right. On that note, we've we've got to get well. We've got PTA support to do tonight. I've got a fit. I've got a kitchen here that we're putting in for the training. Um, yeah, just busy, busy. Awesome. Paul saying he got his funding thanks to Tracy. Yeah, Tracy is awesome. I mean, if anybody wants to know how to do it, what to do, what to put, where, then yeah, chat to Tracy. She's yeah. I to be fair, I did hours last year. This year was a little bit harder so i just got tracy to do it and yeah awesome tracy's had such success for it you know, for anybody that wants help obviously you know she will tell you what you've got to do you know you do have to tick certain boxes clearly um and as long as you do that that's it you know there is no major prerequisite for it yeah you're right junior tracy is amazing cool right night guys we're going to head over to pta support so um have a good one we will be back next week don't forget Lindsay will put the links in, uh, get yourself signed up to any of the stuff that you want. If you need anything, you know where we are, reach out and we will see you for the next clue next week. Awesome. Night, cool. guys.